Praise the Lord and I want to greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is awesome, the Lord is powerful, the Lord is glorious and the Lord is performing miracles day after day. His miracles are not over. He is the same God yesterday, today and forever. People of God, I want you to cheer up. People of God, I want you to rejoice. People of God, God has not abandoned you and left you alone. You are in the right path of victory. You are in the right path of seeing the victory and the blessing of the Lord. Today, I believe God is doing a deep, deep work in your life. As you are going to be blessed with the word of God. And the word of God is going to transform your life. And the title that I have for today's message, Better to Have a Good Name. Better to Have a Good Name. You know, today, names are very important. That's why we need to earn to have a good name rather than destroying your name in pathway of life. Many have spoiled their name. Many have scarred their name. Many people's name is murdered. Because of the wrong folly things that we do. Because of your own interests, of your own desire, pleasures. You have not honored the name that the Lord has given. Let's look at the key scripture that I have today. It's in the book of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And loving favor rather than silver and gold. A good name is rather to be chosen rather than great riches. So if you want to have a good name, there you must choose and choose to leave a legacy, a name to glorify God and the kingdom of God. So let's choose a good name for the Lord. Better to have a good name for the kingdom of God. There are several occasions God changed the name of those who walked with him. For example, he changed Abraham to Abraham. And then he says, the name Abraham means father of many nations. How God made him from nowhere to have a great name because God changed his name. Then you see his wife Sarai to Sarah, a mother of prince. Jesus changed Simon's name, who is unstable, to Peter which means rock. Simon means unstable. Jesus changed his name from unstable to a rock, which means Peter. There are many other people, the name was changed. And because God saw something awesome that need to be done in order to bring a transformation. When God revealed his name, he showed us personally what he represents. He reveals his character as his name, El Shaddai, which means strong and breasted one, who gives nourishment to all people. Jehovah means covenant keeping God. And God is actually saying, I am a God who keeps the covenant. Exodus chapter 6 verse 3, Jehovah is a redemptive name. So when you have the name of Jehovah, a covenant keeping God, God is going to keep all the things in your life and you are going to bloom and blossom in everything that you do because God has chosen your name and he's made you sons and daughters of God. The first scripture again, Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1, a good name is to be chosen. So I pray that you will choose to have a good name, a good respect, and a good quality of things around in the kingdom of God, in church, in the community, that you will have a good name rather than great riches. A favor is better than silver and gold. Then the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. For I knew the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, a plans of welfare, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. So when God understands that you're walking in a good name, God is going to prosper everything that you're going to do. And he says, I know I got a good plan for you. A plan to prosper and give you his blessing and riches. The third scripture that I want to give you is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. 
Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to verse 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your path. I believe the time is now. You know, we are living in a desperate situation where everything seems to be hard and difficult. But God is going to turn all things around and He's going to make a crooked path straight. And God says, do not lean on to your own understanding, but lean on God and God's word and God's spirit and God's prayer that you will see everything established straight. When you begin to acknowledge Him in all your ways, God will establish you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I thank God. In the midst of all these, God says, I will lift you, build you, and I will be with you. I will cause my righteous hand to come upon you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and be courageous. Do not fear and do not dread them. For it is the Lord your God who goes before you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. For God is going to go before us. That's why I said if you have known the Lord. If you know how God will raise you. Refuse to live in a place of shame and agony and sorrow frustration. But rather you say Lord I'm going to lean on you. And I'm going to have a good name established in my life. And I will be blessed. My family and myself will be blessed. My ministry will be blessed. Uh, the things that I do in the kingdom of God will be blessed. Uh, today, my friends, even as you listen to this message, I want you to take some time to have communion with the Lord. And I want you to start praying and praising God. And I believe God will bless you. And I believe God will heal you. And God will prosper you. And God will provide all your needs. Today, choose a good name and live a good name in the community and with the churches, with the people, so that you will be called a blessed person. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen.